Thank you for joining us for the 2018 PGCPS Read Across America Day. My name is Gorman Brown and I'm principal at Charles Herbert Flowers High School and today I'll be reading to you a selection of poetry that has inspired me throughout my life. The three uh, authors that I've chosen are William Ernest Henley, Edgar A. Guest, and Rudyard Kipling. And as you'll see uh, as I'm going through the prose, that the words that they've used and the language, the, the figurative language is, is, is absolutely inspiring. So the first poem that I'll begin with is a poem titled Invictus by William Ernest Henley. And so what's really interesting about William Ernest Henley is that he had a, a, a really tough life. He was uh, born with tuberc uh, tuberculosis uh, after he was born and uh, lost a limb, got his leg cut off, spent a lot of time in a hospital. And because of that, he inspired himself through his, through his writing. So the first poem, Invictus, is one that is absolutely one that, is, um, that, that really gives you insight into how inspired he was in spite of the circumstances in which he experienced. So this is Invictus by William Ernest Henley. Out of the night that covers me, black as a pit from pole to pole, I thank whatever gods may be for my unconquerable soul. In the full clutch of circumstance, I have not winced nor cried aloud. Under the bludgeonings of chance, my head is bloody but unbowed. Beyond this place of wrath and tears looms but the horror of the shade, and yet the menace of the years finds and shall find me unafraid. It matters not how straight the gate, how charged with punishments the scroll. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. So I always love that poem because at the end he really points at the point that regardless of what the circumstances were, he still feels like he has control of the outcomes. So what uh, I want you guys to spend some time reflecting on is, is where do you feel inspired and in control of your own outcomes regardless of what the circumstances are. So the second poem that I'll be reading to get today is um, it's called See It Through and the title um, it kind of speaks for itself. The uh, author is a gentleman by the name of Edgar A. Guest, Edgar Albert Guest, and um, he really talks about what you do when you're up against adversity. So I'm going to go ahead and read see it through at this time. So here we go. When you're up against the trouble, meet it squarely face to face. Lift your chin and set your shoulders. Plant your feet and take a brace. When it's vain to try to dodge it, do the best that you can do. You may fail, but you may conquer. See it through. Black may be the clouds about you, and your future may seem grim. But don't let your nerve desert you. Keep yourself in fighting trim. If the worst is bound to happen in spite of all that you can do, running from it will not save you. See it through. Even hope may seem but futile when with troubles you're beset. But remember you are facing just what other men have met. You may fail, but fall still fighting. Don't give up, whatever you do. Eyes front, head high to the finish, see it through. And that's See It Through by Edgar A. Guest, another one of my personal favorites. And he just, again, just really focuses on the point that regardless of the adversity that you're dealing with, as long as you stay focused, as long as you continue to do what's necessary, you will experience success. And so that, again, is one of my personal favorites. Uh, the final poem that I am reading is, is, is absolutely my favorite poem of all time. It um, not just inspires, but kind of gives you a road map to the things that you uh, would, would need to do when you're experiencing life on, on its own terms. Uh, it is titled If by Rudyard Kipling. If you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you. If you can trust yourself when all men doubt you, but make allowance for their doubting too. If you can wait and not be tired by waiting or being lied about, don't deal in lies or being hated. Don't give way to hating and yet don't look too good nor talk too wise. If you can dream and not make dreams your master, if you can think and not make thoughts your aim, if you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat these two imposters just the same, if you can bear to hear the truth you've spoken, 
twisted by knaves to make a trap for fools, or watch the things you gave to your life to broken, and stoop and build them up with worn out tools. If you can make one heap of all your winnings and risk it on one turn of pitch and toss and lose and start again at your beginnings and never breathe a word about your loss. If you can force your heart and nerve and sinew to serve your turn long after they are gone and so hold on when there's nothing in you except the will which says to you, hold on. If you can talk with crowds and keep your virtue, or walk with kings and never lose the common touch, if, you're, if neither foes nor loving friends can hurt you, if all men count with you, but none too much, if you can fill the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth of distance run, yours is the earth and everything that's in it, and which is more, you'll be a man, my son. That is If by Rudyard Kipling. So those are three of my favorite poems uh, for, for obvious reasons. Um, I think that we have to, and to be inspired, to, uh, to inspire others, we have to be inspired. So when I think of times that I've experienced challenge and I need inspiration, I think about these three poems. So it's been uh, a pleasure sharing them with you, uh, and thank you for, for letting me be a part of your experience.